Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino navigation bar. So it's a regular navigation bar that's styled in the iOS theme. Make sure you have already set up essentially Cupertino. There's a separate video for that. Uh, if we look what we've got so far without the navigation bar, we've got, I've already added this switch as an extra widget. And it's literally flush at the top of the navigation bar usually would go around right there. To add it, it's really simple. Side of the Cupertino page scaffold, you want to say do navigation bar and Cupertino navigation bar, and then in here there's a variety of properties. So let's I'm going to cover three of this: leading, middle, and trailing. They're all widgets. Leading. Is what would be on the you know the left side the middle is the, you know, the middle part of it and the trailing is what would be on the right so if I'd say leading and we can just add any widget here so I'm going to add an icon I'm gonna add an icon and I'm gonna put icons dot capital R icons dot um is there an arrow back so this is quite common in applications and devices so as you can see we got a navigation bar and we got this as well so now what we are going to show you and obviously because I just added an icon directly you could add something like a button and then have that comprised or have that be comprised of an icon and it can have some sort of unpressed or unchanged method as well. But I'll leave that, you know, to you. So I'm going to do the middle now. So middle, I'm just going to put some text here. So I'm going to say text, you know, epic app. And I'll do some trailing. So trailing, I'm going to put another icon. And for the icon, I'm going to do like an account icon. That's pretty common in the top right as well. And yeah, something like that will be good. So as you can see, we've already essentially created what looks like a pretty good navigation bar. But don't worry, we can set a few of the properties, set a lot of other properties. We can do background color, and we can just do colors, dot red, for example, my favorite color. And as you can see, it has changed to red, and as has the top part as well. So obviously make sure you set the, you know, the icon stuff, you know, the the icon, the color, all that stuff accordingly. What I'm actually going to do is set it to black. And then I'm going to change the text. So I'm going to say style is going to be a text style. And this is going to be color. And it's going to be color dot white. As you can see, we have a pretty good navigation bar now. And there's other properties that you can mess around with, like the you know the foreground color so you know more leading and middle as well they're just booleans the previous page title if you want to mess around with that you know the sort if you want to have a transition between you no know, changing pages between the roots and any padding as an extra task i want you to experiment with this i'm going to provide the link so you can get all the information required if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video